Hey guys, JJ Sports Talk back with another video. And I'm sorry I didn't post last night, but I'm going to bring you guys a longer video today. And I'm just kind of happy tonight because my middle school team and our middle school girls team both got wins tonight. So shout out to them. And, and let's get on with the video. So first I'm going to give you the trivia. And the trivia question for today is, what NBA players have gotten a quadruple double? And a quadruple double is when you get 10 in four stats. And the, usually the stats are points, rebounds, assists, steals, and block shots. So I'll give you the video to think about that, and I will reveal that later. So I'm just going to kind of stick with the theme of the trivia question, and this whole video is going to be NBA. It's all going to be NBA, and that's basically what I'm going to give you. I'm just going to give you some general things, and usually things people don't talk about. So, I've kind of thought about what I wanted to say, and that's I'll just give you that. So, let's get on with what I'm going to talk about. So, my first topic is my team that I think is most improved. So, who do I think is most improved? And this is, this is now. Not like at the beginning of the year or at the end of the year, which is the future, which is in the future. I think now. To this day, who do I think is most improved? I think in the East, the Pistons and the Knicks. They went from a very good team. Well, I mean, sorry. A very bad team to a very good team this year. And the Pistons are impressed me. They're probably in, I think, 6th or 7th place in the East. Pretty sure it's 7th. And they've just kind of rebounded from last year. I mean, they made the playoffs in 2016. Missed it last year. And... This year, they're back, and they're probably going to be back, and I predicted them to be in the playoffs this year, and I think they are they are going to be in this year. So, I think the Pistons are good. I think that they just got a good chemistry working there, and I think that all their pieces are starting to come into play, and yeah, I, that's why I think the Pistons are. And then the Knicks, the Knicks are probably m more than the Pistons because of how bad they were last year. I mean, they were so dysfunctional with – with um, head coaching and Phil Jackson as the GM and nothing was going good for them and it's just kind of a rebound season for them and they're doing good. Porzingis is coming into play. Frank, ne Frank Nielakina, Courtney Lee, and Ennis Kanter are a great pickup on the Thunder and I just think that they're coming into play and I think they're just they're just out of the playoffs right now. But I think they're going to get in. I predicted them. To, to think be the eighth seed in the playoff, and I think they're gonna, I think they're gonna get in. So that's my most improved team, in the, my most improved teams now in the East. For the West, I think the Clippers. The Clippers had a pretty big off season, losing Chris Paul but gaining a lot of people, for, from Chris Paul. I mean guys like Montrez Harrell and Lou Williams and Patrick Beverly, big trade there, and they're all coming into play. Blake Griffin's having a great year, even though he just got injured. I mean. I hope he can come back very well. And just how they're playing, Finn together. I mean, DJ's having a good year. And it's working for the Clippers right now. They have, they're winning a lot, and they're on pace to make the playoffs. I mean, they're a little out right now, but I think they're going to get in. And it'll be good for the Clippers. It really will be good for the Clippers to get in. And that's my, mo my most improved team. For the least improved, which I don't really like talking about, will be the Hawks in the East. And the Hawks are a tough team this year. They're losing a lot. I mean, they got John Collins in the draft, and I thought it was going to be a pretty good year, but losing Paul Millsap is just not going to do it for you. I mean, this is their last in the East, and they're struggling really bad. And uh, not much you can say about the Hawks. They're just losing lots of games, and it's a bad year. I mean, you, you can't blame it on Mike Boonhoser. He's a great coach. And the Hawks, I mean, they have pieces. It's just not fitting well this year. And for my least improved in the West, the Grizzlies. They're in 13th place, and they're not playing very well. They're, you're like, they're, that's two spots away from the worst team, and... Age is catching up to him. Mike Conley's having a good year. Mark Saul's always decent. I mean, age is just catching up to the Grizzlies, and they're struggling this year. So, 
I mean, they're just not as active as they usually are. Injuries are getting them this year, and they're just dropping down in the standings. So that's my least improved in the West. So now I'm going to go to my my kind of most, most, how do I say this, kind of shocked, mostly. So I did my most improved. Now I'm doing kind of like my most impre impre impressed or shocked, kind of, of how they're doing. So, like, the one that I'm most shocked with is probably the Timberwolves. I knew that they were probably going to have a really good rebound year, and they are. They're going to make the playoffs, and they have a really nice team. Taj Gibson and Jimmy Butler, Cats. I mean, wow, that's just a great team. And Teague, and it's just all – and Wiggins, I mean, just – the list goes on and on and on, and I think they're going to go deep in the playoffs, as I pr kind of predict. I think, I, actually, that's a false statement. I don't have them. I hope I'm losing in the first round to the Thunder, but what can I say? You don't know how it's going to be. You can't predict the future. So we'll see what happens with them, but they're definitely going to make the playoffs this year. And the one I'm most shocked with, I'm going to go back to the Hawks. I didn't think they were gonna have that. I mean, losing Paul Millsap, I didn't. I didn't think they were gonna be that bad, but they are, and I'm pretty shocked with it. So, sorry, Hawks fans, but I had to throw in the other again. I'm not. I already talked a lot about them, so there we go. So now, there's not since it's the middle of the season, kind of the middle of the season. I'm not a lot of people talking about this yet, but I'm going to. My predictions for, like, MVP, six-man, most improved, coach of the year, defensive player, and rookie of the year. So, let's just get into it. So, for MVP, there's a lot of discussion between James Harden and LeBron James, and I'm going to go with James. A lot of people are saying LeBron James is going to end his drought as MVP, but I don't think he will. I think James Harden just having too good of a season to be passed up on and looked and just skipped again as MVP. I think he's just having too good of a year. Not much more I got to say about that. I think it'll be a close race, but I think James Harden's going to win. Now, one of my favorite awards is Most Improved. I love Most Improved because people can just go from averaging two points per game to 20 points per game. And I love seeing the change. It's just amazing to me seeing how players just work at their game and just to see that. like Guys like Jimmy Butler and CJ McCollum who have just completely changed from non-existent to one of the best players in the league it's just it's awesome to me and for most improved i have victor oladipo and victor oladipo went to the was picked to the magic in 2015 was decent and then went to okc okc thunder last year and was not very good and he found a home in the pacers and he's having a very good year he's even averaging more points than paul george and that's pretty good and I love watching Victor Oladipo this year. He looks, he's looks he got a jumper now, and he just looks way more confident on the floor than he usually has. And he's scoring, and he's up in a lot of his stats, and I think he's going to win most improved player this year. Sixth man of the year award, and I'm going to go with Lou Williams. Yep. it's I was kind of close between Lou Williams and Eric Gordon, but I had to go Lou Williams. He just... Too good for the Clippers right now, and he's just coming off the bench and rounding off a really good Clippers team this year. That is just outside the playoffs a little bit. So I think that Lou Williams will win six man. Not much to say there. So for rookie of the year, I have Ben Simmons. Yes, I'm a Lakers fan, the Lakers. But I saw Alonzo, but I got to go Ben Simmons. I mean, he's just having too good of a year. And, I mean, he missed last year, so technically it doesn't count as a season for him. This is his rookie season, and he's dominating the league. So I'm going to go Ben Simmons with my Rookie of the Year pick. For defensive player of the year, not much question here. I'm going to go Rudy Gobert. Um, Draymond won it last year. He played really good defense, but this year I think Rudy Gobert's going to win. He's rounding out a really good Jazz team. He's had some injuries, but I think he's just – He's going to win MVP. I'm not MVP, but he's going to win Defensive Player of the Year. So that's that. And lastly, Coach of the Year. And I'm going to go with Brad Stevens. And the Celtics are number one in the East. 
and they're playing really great ball. And Brad Stevens has always been a great coach. They're, and but Eric Spolstra's up there too. Eric Spolstra, and I mean, Heat are very high in the East right now. But I want Bra Brad Stevens just because he's always been a great coach, and that's how I think he's gonna win. So that's gonna round out what I'm talking about this video. And now I'm gonna end with the trivia. So my question was, what NBA players have had a quadruple double? And there are five. Five players that have had a quadruple double. And those players are Nate Thurmond, Alvin Robinson, Hakeem Olajuwon, Hakeem Olajuwon again, and David Robinson. Now I'll give you the stat line and the date and who they've played against. So Nate Thurmond, who played the Atlanta Hawks on October 18, 1974. He scored 22 points, 14 rebounds, 13 assists, and 12 blocks in the game which gave him a quadruple-double because he had 10, 10 in four stats, which gave him a quadruple-double. Alvin Robinson, who played the Phoenix Suns on February 18, 1986, who had 20 points, 11 rebounds, 10 assists, and 10 steals for Alvin Robinson. Another And, and again, give that a quadruple-double. And I'm very impressed. I mean, Hakeem Olajuwon, great player, and he did it twice. And the first time, he did it against Golden State Warriors on March 30th, 1990. Remember 1990 and March. He scored 29 points, 18 rebounds, 10 assists, and 11 blocks in that game. And the next one, it was March 29th, 1990. March and in 1990. Again, against the Milwaukee Bucks. He scored 18 points, 16 rebounds, 10, blo 10 assists, and 11 blocks which would give him another triple-double in the same month of the same year. That is insanely good. Hakeem, you're one of the greatest players, and I respect that. Quad two quadruple-doubles in the same month of the same year. That's very impressive. And lastly, David Robinson, the Admiral. And David Robinson did it against the Detroit Pistons on February 17, 1994, and he scored... 34 points, had 10 rebounds, 10 assists, and 10 blocks. Very impressive from David. And those are the five players that have had a quadruple double. And I'm, I've am i always thought quadruple doubles were very interesting. And, yeah, those are the players. So that's going to round out the video. And just keep giving me support. And I just thank you. And thank you for watching JJ Sports Talk. Goodbye.